Hey Gemini, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're gonna see what's going on for love between you and your person. So let's see what you need to know. These are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. You guys can always check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign, okay? So Gemini and their person, what do they need to know here? Gemini and their person. All right, we have delays, introspection, and strength. So delays says, it may take longer than expected to get the desired outcome. Introspection, someone needs to look at self and do inner reflection. And we have strength, this connection is stronger than you think. We have misguided, someone was misled down the wrong path that was not for their divine good. So. Um, there does seem to be obviously delays. I feel like there's delays that because in order for this connection to truly uh, work out, someone has to go within here. There needs to be some healing. Um, maybe also to a time apart. Yeah, <laughs> that's so crazy. Separation. <laughs> Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. And then we have f the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. So this can, I feel like this connection, again, it might not be, if you might be in separation with this person right now, um, but I feel like it's because someone's in this like hermit mode, this introspection energy, and so there's delays, but it's because there needs to be healing here. Um or someone's going through something, they're re really evaluating something here while being in separation. They do miss you. You may miss them. I feel like you both probably think about each other, but it's like you're not really sure where this like connection's going, okay? So let's get some tarot. We're gonna see what's going on uh, in your energy, the, con the energy and the connection between the two of you, their energy and the um, outcome. So what's going on for Gemini and their person? So your energy, we have the death card. The connection between the two of you, we have the two of pentacles. Yeah, like unsure. Their energy, we have the knight of pentacles. They could be a Virgo for some of you. And the outcome, we have the world. Bottom of the deck, we have the eight of wands. So I feel like there will be communication, um, possibly about working on a relationship here with this person, okay? Um, you may feel like this connection's over. You might have been the one to even put an end to this connection, but regardless, like you're going through some transformations, some changes. This person's taken their sweet time here with this Knight of Pentacles. But there's kind of this like, it almost feels like the connection itself is like up in the air. It could go either way. And I feel like the world card here is symbolizing kind of what I was saying with this like, the phoenix energy where it's like there's a, a phase of this relationship that's ending so i mean for some of you this connection may just end altogether um if the separation obviously continues however it can also mean that if the two of you come back around i feel like there's potential for this to kind of birth into something new but it'll be different It'll be, and you'll enter a new phase with this person somehow. So let's see what the death card is here on your end, Gemini. Why is this death card? Some of you may have Scorpio in your chart somewhere that's pretty significant, but what is this death card here for Gemini and their energy? We have the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords. And we have the Nine of Cups. So for some of you, there could be third party energy here. Or you're just like not, you're just done giving to relationships in general. Like you're focused on yourself, your ha own happiness, your own personal happiness. I'm also getting too, for some of you, like there may be, you may be really busy with work or maybe you're going through some changes when it comes to your work situation. Um, but it's almost like there's, 
there's something about like the give and the take the the lack of balance between this connection I think that's why the two of you are in separation because it's like you both individually have to work through your own things in order for the two of you to kind of like come back together here okay so I don't even feel like the healing is just on one person's part I feel like it's kind of on both your parts why the two of pentacles or sorry let's see what the knight of pentacles first for their energy let's see what they're at why is this knight of pentacles here yeah judgment the hierophant this person needs to figure out what they want queen of cups queen of swords we have the nine of wands two of swords the hanged man yeah this person needs to figure out what they want they also need to figure out if they're willing to put energy and effort into this connection. I feel like there's something about in this situation between you and this person. It's like the the giving and the receiving, I feel like, was a little bit off. Like there was something about what you wanted, what this person wanted, and it's like it wasn't harmon harmonious, it wasn't balanced. And I feel like there's kind of this like disconnect almost. That's kind of what I'm getting off this two of pentacles is like a disconnect between the two of you and obviously you're in, potentially in separation but it's like I just feel like you're tired of giving to a situation and trying to get it to build if it's not going to build like you know what I mean like you're trying you're tired of be being the one who maybe puts in all the work who keeps trying to get this to work and this person's like trying to figure out what it is that they want uh, and they're trying to figure out what they want long term, just in general, I feel, even with their life. What's this um, two of pentacles for the connection between Gemini and their person? So we have temperance. Yeah, it's going to take time. We have the star. Major healing. Six of swords. Ace of pentacles. So there is a decision that needs to be made between the two of you. We have the sun here also at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like there's something about this person or this situation. Someone was misguided and it's almost like they're being course corrected back on track. It could be even just this connection is being, you know, put back on track. It's like, again, there was some sort of disconnect, something that was not flowing between the two of you. Something was not balanced between the two of you. Um, in this connection and so there's kind of this like reevaluation period while you're both in separation that is indicating that you know the two of you have your own healing to do in order for the two of you to come back together and move in a, in a positive direction here and move in a direction that can be more stable with the ace of pentacles it feels like there was a lack of stability in the connection um previous and I feel like this person, they have to decide if they're willing to put in the effort to um, if they're willing to put in the effort to like get this connection off the ground. I also feel like they're potentially the one that has to decide whether they're going to come back. I feel like they're in the introspection phase. You're just tired of trying to put in all the effort and try to get recognition when you're not getting recognition. You feel like you don't feel valued or you don't feel like someone's honoring you in this connection there's something about you not feeling satisfied essentially and so this person's got to figure it out i feel like they've been very closed off emotionally trying to think with their mind but they need to kind of like look at both what's the world card here between the two for the outcome what's the world card here in the outcome for gemini and their person we have the death card. So again, something's got to change. There's transformation. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Knight of Pentacles. So this is going to be a connection that like takes its time. Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups are both the slowest <laughs> cards for the Knights. Um, it does feel like this person is going to take action. Um, but it's almost like maybe if you ended this connection with this person, it's almost like that's triggered them to reevaluate things. And it feels like there's going to be stability, a stable foundation that gets created between the two of you in the future. 
if this person, some of you may move on, like you may um, potentially, you know, if this, maybe you date somebody in between of you and this person coming back around. Let me, let me get one more here, this death card. Okay, so if this person takes their sweet time, there might be you moving on. Um, but regardless, I see you entering a some sort of a soulmate connection here. Yeah, nine of wands. It's like something's got to give, something's got to change. It can't keep continuing the way that it was between you and this person. Like you're ready to move on and move forward in whatever way that looks like in order for you to get the type of relationship or have the sort of outcome and foundation in a relationship that you're looking for. Okay. So there could be an ending to this connection. Again, it could be kind of, I feel like it's both. Like some of you, there could be an ending to this connection or others of you, it's being like revived, but in a different way. I just feel like it's going to take time. It's not just going to happen overnight. Um, but let's see what this person, their unspoken message towards you. Yeah, I kept the wrong company around who interfered with this beautiful connection. I feel like this person was misguided. There was something about like, they have to like almost like make their own decisions. This could also be to like their family, their tradition, their beliefs are kind of jaded or like the people they hang around um, and their, their belief system has kind of jaded this connection somehow. We have, there is no good reason for the way I acted. I wish I can apologize. So this person feels like they see the connection for what it is. They do know. I think it's just a matter of this, whether this person can move forward with you. Also to whether you're willing to hang around and wait for this person. Um, like I said, some of you may date people before this person comes back, right? You could be hesitant to kind of come back into this person to this person's energy but again this connection stronger than you think so there is a strong connection here between the two of you i feel like there could be definitely communication that comes in here or there was commit co communication about commitment um i just feel like someone might have backed out or someone might have like just not um just not have moved forward it's like they have to make some sort of decision about commitment and we have, I never truly moved on, even though I appear so at the bottom of the deck. So again, some of you think this is over. I feel like this person could come back around. It's just gonna, it's gonna take time. They're not moving very fast. They're definitely taking their time to process um, and heal. I think like if they come back around, they're gonna be serious. It's not gonna be like, it won't be a repeat. They're not trying to repeat the past either. So it's not, they're not wanting to stay in this cycle either, okay? So that's what I have for you, Gemini. Hopefully that resonates. Uh, let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of April and I will see you well in the next one. Bye.